All right, y'all, man, before my boy Ernesto could even get out here, he already has the C8 Corvette parked out here, looking nasty. And then over there in his driveway, we got the C7 boosted, super, super fast and non-slicks. So we will get into that shortly. That's gonna be a different video. We're talking about the 2020 C8 Corvette, one of the craziest, craziest cars to ever come out. Probably the most anticipated car and the most exciting car to be dropped in the year of 2020, let alone it being from Chevy. This is a Chevy Corvette, the A c8 hence the c8 mid-engine all of them considered the stingray i'm really excited to get it on camera we're gonna be doing some more about it my boy ernesto is already coming out what is going on youtube thank you for tuning in to another video it's your boy scatty back with some more street content for you guys you guys can see it peeking already behind me the 2021 c8 corvette in the arctic white this one right here specifically is going to be the z51 package i got my boy ernesto to let me go ahead and get him on the video the owner of fresno california's own automotive pro so you guys go ahead and check that out i will put their instagram right here and their information in the description below so you guys can check them out and give them some love How you doing man Great. it's good to see you. it's good to see you finally got you on the channel bro finally uh -huh. well, this is a 6.2 liter uh -huh. correct 6.2 liter v8 and is this the z51 package or yes. so it is a z51 package mm -hmm. sweet all right guys just to give you guys a clean walk around of the corvette and a little bit more knowledge on it before we do get inside and have some fun this is a 6.2 liter v8 pushing about 490 horsepower now this is the z51 package like i was saying so this is going to have the performance exhaust which gives it that five extra horsepower for you guys we will get a look into the interior right now just to give you guys a walk around the six piston brakes right here with z51 written on it yeah, this is going to be an exciting car. I have yet to be in a lot of Corvettes. Like I said, guys, he does have a C7 sitting over here. I haven't got a chance to film with many Corvettes, let alone be in a Corvette. So being able to get my hands on a C8 is really, really exciting. This looks so bad. You guys see again. Now, this is Chevy's first mid-engine Corvette, first mid-engine car. Now, just to improve the handling... They definitely, definitely stepped up their game with this one. And now this is coming in a dual clutch automatic. No more manuals and no manuals allowed in this C8 Corvette. So this is a beast. Zero to 60 in about 2.8 seconds. It's dropping crazy numbers. Since beginning this YouTube, guys, I've come across a lot of luxurious cars. So being able to see one this nice and it being a Chevy is super, super awesome. You guys see the Corvette logo right here. All the buttons just aligned up in one super, super driver oriented, really focused on who's driving the car. Not really worried about who's sitting shotgun right now. All right guys, before, woo, listen to that. Check that out. Oh my God. The video does no justice. This sounds absolutely insane. First C8 Corvette on Scatty Vlogs. You guys stay tuned. This is gonna be a crazy review. All right. And then for y'all, the first time on Scatty Vlogs, my good friend Ernesto, owner of Automotive Pros. You guys definitely show him some love. Anything anything you want to say, brother? Uh, <laughs> lots me on. Yeah, right? We're going to have some fun. All right. And then like I was saying, guys, this interior for the C8 Corvette, very, very uh, driver-oriented, you know? Like everything oh, yeah. is basically meant for you. It's really not worried about what's on my side. <laughs> Since getting this car, tell me the craziest features that you found on here that were like, you know what, this is this is the car that I for sure am not disappointed in getting. The, the windshield. The, oh, the yes. Back. Yes, I did see about the, that. Look how clear the scatty looks in the back. <laughs> they call it the gap cam. The gap cam, yes. The SS1L Elite Camaros actually come with that too. Unfortunately, I know that because I was gapped on one of these. So that's a, a tough one right here. Three cons that you found in this car when first driving it. Cause you said it's a brand new, only about 1,000 miles. Yes. Uh, besides paying a $20,000 markup. <laughs> right. Um, and that's because this one was produced in 2021 or is it yeah, still a 20? Okay, so this was a year out. Okay, nice. Yeah. They, it just came out of the factory like literally a month and a half ago. Oh, so, nice. Can't say I have any complaints yet. Okay. What are three? Th what are three? Uh, three items in the car, like just regarding the infotainment center or the interior. If I was telling you right now that I wanted to buy a Corvette. What are three things you're gonna tell me that would talk me into buying it? Uh, a C8 specifically. It's a Corvette. You can never go wrong. Number one. Uh, number two, these things put it to the ground. It doesn't have a lot of horsepower. Like there's another one right there. Oh wow. But uh, oh, that's 
clean. It doesn't have. That like, was the red. It has 500 stock, which is not bad. But no, it, yeah. If you can, you know, take the cruise, you know, you can take the the traction off completely. It's gonna put it to the ground. It's gonna go straight. It's not gonna kill you. Heck yeah, 400 and around 465 foot pounds of torque, I believe. Yeah, and it's, besides uh, CarPlay being wireless, I've never seen that before. Oh yeah, and you guys have the wireless charger as well too, right? Yeah, it's right here. Oh, that is so clean. Wireless charger right there, guys. Why it's right there, I don't know. But... <laughs> Oh man, it sounds good. Oh yeah, that felt good. That felt good. Man, that sat, it sat and hooked too. What kind of tires are on these stock? Uh, Michelin Sport Pilots or something. Like Michelin that. Sport Pilots, okay, nice. Coming from the C7, have you always been a Chevy, a Chevy guy or? I, I, I don't I've never been a Chevy guy my whole life. No way. So the C7 was your first Chevy car? Yes. Okay. If you see outside, you got nothing but Ram trucks. Parking. Yeah, definitely your Dodge family. I love the Challengers, the Chargers and stuff. It's just, I've always wanted a Corvette since I was a little kid. So I bought a Corvette, but I, I, I'm not a Chevy fan at all. Okay, I, okay. Know, I like that. Catch me driving a Chevy truck. You say I can't do that. Not even a Camaro, right? No, no way. <laughs> he said Corvettes is the only way I got to go. Yeah. All right, y'all, so we just got to Mexico. We're about to get the revs right now. We came, we ran across another C8 Corvette, and it looks like we came across a, what is that, a C7 or? Yeah. C7 right there. Man, Corvettes everywhere. We're about to get the revs. I'm super, super excited for this. What are your thoughts on the exhaust, specifically? Because that's what we're talking about. They didn't let me down. I, I, it's better than the C7, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. And then everything, with everything done to your C7 already, are you still more fan of your C8 still? Half and half, because the C7's a beast. It's a monster, right? Yeah. And you guys are going to stay tuned for that, man. The C7 will be on the next video. Let's get some revs. <laughs> right. Here. Pops. Again, guys, Z51, this is the performance package exhaust on the C8s that they do offer. Wow, guys, check out the rest. insane and you guys just got to hear all the exhaust revs from it super super crazy i didn't even know till i got to his house that this is the z51 package so it has the performance exhaust to give it that extra five horsepower we're about to go do some flybys i am beyond excited for these you guys stay tuned all right guys i wasn't able to i wasn't even able to get it on camera but there was a gt500 that just drove right past us and revved his engine on my boy's uh corvette Man, I wish we would have been able to get catch up to him and get a cool run. That would have been crazy. Well, we got the vet coming back down this way. Man, we got the vet coming right now. You guys stay tuned. These flybys are going to be crazy. Whoa. Oh, damn. Did you guys hear that pop? Oh, my God. Oh. Oh my God, bro. There's so many people here taking photos. There's, there's people back there in their cars probably hearing me like, damn, what's this problem? Whoa. Oh my God. Dude, those shifts are ripping right through it. It sounds awesome. That performance package exhaust did not fail. Boss 302, yeah, Boss. <laughs> that was a Boss 302. That's like one of my favorite Mustang trims ever. SD. First mid-engine flybys on the channel. Respect, dude. Respect. Let me see the launch control. Ooh. Oh, hell yes. That launch was freaking smooth. 
smoothest launch I've been in. Now, one thing I did want to ask, since you are owner of a C7 and a C8 Corvette, it came out around 2020 July, and once you saw that it was a mid-engine Corvette, it was something completely different. What were your thoughts? Uh, at first, I didn't care for it, to be honest. At first, okay. I was like, oh, I'm probably not going to buy that. First thing I thought was poor man's Ferrari, you know? Yeah. That's what I thought. And I was like, you know what? I'm the poor man. I want a car that looks just like a Ferrari, you know? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Bad car, bad car. Performance, though, were you expecting a little bit more? Uh, no, it's, it's about right. 6.2 right, liter. Yeah. Yeah. Again, 6.2 liter V8 with 465 torque, 490 horsepower, and again, if you have the Z51, like my brother right here, Ernesto, you get that five extra horsepower on your uh, on your car alone. Ooh, hell yeah! Yeah, no, it really. That's why I was asking, man. Your suspension, alignment, all of that is just on point with this. They really, really made a great car. And that's why I wanted to look into it more because a lot of people, a lot of them were saying that they didn't like the C8. They were upset, that they, they were mad that they that they gave away the original look of the Corvette and it was like, dead. it's done. I, I thought like, dude, it's badass. Like, what can you guys be angry about? It's giving you guys the performance that you guys want. You guys have a totally different look and you guys put yourself in a category that Dodge and Ford really can't put themselves in right now, you know? Pretty much, yeah. over here okay we got a hemi going crazy okay with the hemi i see you whoa guys that was the closest i've been to any of the flybys since i've been doing this channel that was awesome that sounded good this is dangerous i should probably move it whoa oh yeah in the middle of the road a whole lot more honestly honestly guys I I know it's gotten a little bit darker guys, but you guys can still see the beautiful Arctic white and the lights look insane. The Corvette on the back, the Stingray badge, everything guys. Check out the interior again one more time with all the lights turned on. Absolute beast of a car. Really, really awesome. Any last Thank words? You. No, just if you guys need anything car related, you know, hit us up. You guys know where to go. Anything car related. Anything do. done. Automotive pros that are friends of California. You guys let them know that Scatty Vlogs and my boy Ernesto sent you guys over there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, this is getting pretty dark, so, and I don't have my flashlight, so I won't be able to get real bright outro for you guys. But thank you so much for tuning in to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was the first C8 on the channel and the first C8 that I've been this close to. So super, super happy about that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We were going to have another Corvette getting on here real soon. I will see you guys next week. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have been giving me. We are at about, I believe, almost 2,200 subscribers. So definitely share, share, share. Get this video out there. I'm so excited for the next one. I will see you guys next time. Much love. Right.